in everything you do i think that you would definitely find people who have already started it yes like you have started exactly. rabbit farming yeah and so you go around you, you can use the internet you access the internet you do you know consultations or you go around yourself the farms mm -hmm. you know to get some form of mentorship yeah okay you need some information yeah what what have people done right what they've done wrong what mm -hmm. you can correct what you can inculcate in there mm -hmm. so that you don't commit expensive mistakes that's true So Elliot, it means that this year, from 2019, this year marks your fifth yes. year in this business. Yes. Wow, Perfect. that's not a small feat. You guys have really yeah. done well. Maybe it's a guy. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. So you see, as I walked in here, I was yeah. just thinking to myself, how do I get to this level if mm. I'm interested in rabbit farming? What do I need to do mm. to get to this point where you also have your farm that you have a lot of rabbits around? Can you tell me, can you give me some pointers on what to do? Yes. So like I said earlier, I said that rabbits have small ecological footprints. So ecological footprints, I mean the space, mm -hmm. talk about the feed, talk about water consumption, talk about the materials, mm -hmm. I mean the materials for building cages and your structures. Okay. Okay. But first off, if you want to start a rabbit farm, mm -hmm. I think the first is you need knowledge about what you want to do. That's true. What you really want to do. You need knowledge about what you want to do. Yeah. And so that's comes with research personal research okay. you need to know about what you want to do personal okay. research so whether i want to really go into rabbit farming yes. goat farming sheep farm, i really exactly. i need to figure that out first. exactly okay. you need to look at that you research look at the how sustainable the thing is mm -hmm. if it can re if your strength can really meet what you want to do yeah okay yeah yeah so now your personal research then you get a mentor there are people in in everything you do i think that you would definitely find people who have already started it yes like you have started exactly. rabbit farming yeah and so you go around you, you can use the internet you access the internet you do you know consultations or you go around yourself the farms mm -hmm. you know to get some form of mentorship yeah okay you need some information yeah what what have people done right what they've done wrong what mm -hmm. you can correct what you can inculcate in there mm -hmm. so that you don't commit expensive mistakes that's true all right i think that those are those are the basic things you need mm -hmm. so research is very very important okay even it goes down to the breeds when, when we started the breeds were using we're not meeting the 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 the, the standard. Okay. Then there is a standard in, in every animal form. Okay. As as in the breed, the genetics. Because okay. mind you, you are working towards a target market. Yeah. And so you should have animals that that grows faster to, in, 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 in that Yeah. That to be able to meet yes, your market uh, demand. Uh, exactly. And so the breeds that we're using were not growing that fast. They were not meeting the demand. Wow. Okay. A fryer rabbit should if I say a fryer rabbit, I means uh, it means that a meat rabbit okay. that you, you want to use for meat. Okay. Okay. Okay, so two things meat production and then the the, the, the breeding stock okay and so they, 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 they should grow in a space of three months mm -hmm. and so we realized that ah, the breeds were not growing very well and fast yeah and so we resorted to importing foreign breeds from outside wow. uh -huh. to come and improve their genetics uh -huh. so that we can have that that quality okay in the system so let me take you back a bit it means that mm -hmm. one needs to take his or her time to figure out if this is the type of farming I want to go into. Yes. That is one. Yes. Then now search for someone who has tried it. Yes. That kind of farming exactly. before. So you do your research, look for someone who can mentor you. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, so I've done those background checks. Okay. Yeah. I've walked into Ace Rabbit's Farms. Mm -hmm. I like what they've done. I've done my background research. I think I would want to go into um, yeah. Rabbit's Farming. Exactly. Now, what's the next step I'm going to take? So after researching personal research, you, you get a mentor. You would have all the tips, mm -hmm. whether your strengths can meet this. Mm -hmm. And so that includes your space, mm -hmm. your pockets, funding. Mm -hmm. Okay, although I said that it, it is, uh, um, 
it has a small ecological footprint mm -hmm. you, you know you still can you still have, must check if you can do it or not all right okay so that comes to so after they just you everything like i said the materials mm -hmm. you not commit uh, expensive mistakes some materials are not are not the best whenever you are doing an investment you need to see that the investment you are doing goes a long way you don't do it and then in a short term you, you you end up refurbishing everything yeah okay you do it and then it takes you for a longer term okay all right uh -huh. so all you right. come back to you know do all of this budget to see if your money can okay uh -huh. so this is what i'm thinking mm -hmm. Say I've gone through step one, step two. I really want to figure out if really um, I want to pursue rabbit farming, right? So I want to start with two rabbits, so one male, one female. What do I need to do in terms of location, in terms of acquiring the rabbits, in terms of feed, all of those things? Can you use that two male and female instance to walk me through what I can do? Yes. Um, so two, you want to start with two rabbits. Mm -hmm. You need a space. Okay, it can be it can be big, it can be small. Big in terms of you're looking at scaling up in the future. Okay, you, if it's big, you're looking at scaling up in the future. If it's still not big, you can still do something reasonable mm -hmm. with your space. So let's say it's just in my backyard, yeah, small yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, in your backyard, 10 feet by 10 feet space. It's fine because the cages, it's Itself, the dimensions are two feet by two feet for a breeder that is a mother and then the kids okay and then you consider providing a space for the kids but because at a point you have to win them from you have to collect the, yeah, the babies from their mother into so you provide that space ahead you don't wait till when the number is increasing then you, you'll be doing that because the the Liter you expect from a single mother is 1 to 14. Wow. I think the highest I've had on my farm is 13 from one single mother. Wow. So imagine, and then even that, you, you have to do sexing mm -hmm. at, at a certain point, which is, I think, eight weeks. Okay. It's fine. Because at eight weeks, you can be able to see the difference in, in their gender. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you need to separate them. Uh, exactly, because they can be together. Okay. You, you, you would, you would um, um, damage your stock. Oh. They will end up breeding each other, and that is inbreeding. Oh. And inbreeding is not good in rabbitry, so you have to separate them at a certain point. Okay. So all of those spaces you provide them on a, you can you can do it like we have here on a single cage. So you have the the mother's room like this, the what we have here, mm -hmm. like this. Then the next space is for the kids. Okay. Then, then additional one for separating this this genders, sexing. Okay. The males will be in one room and the females will be in one room. Okay. So that means all of this setup mm. I can do in my backyard just yes. to get me figure out if I want to go yes. into rabbit farming. Yes. So even though I'm starting with a male and a female, the first breeding could even land me 14, yes. 13 to 14 exactly. of their um, exactly. kittens, right? So you need to be proactive. Wow. Yeah, your space, so, needs, yeah, I mean a cage, the space on a cage, next, you need to be proactive about that. Shouldn't be just two rooms or three, at least. Uh, I think a, a whole cage like what we have here, like eight, I think you can, you can have eight or 12 rooms okay. for a cage, yeah. Okay, okay. If, uh, if you look up Jonathan, on the, on the internet, Jonathan, okay. yeah, uh, Ogro Farms, I think he, he does the cages. Okay. So 12 rooms, I think, will be enough okay. to serve to, you to start yeah, for some that. time. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. But if I need the male and female, um, where, where can I, can male I come and female, from? Them, yeah? yeah, we have all the commercial breeds. We have the New Zealand whites, the New Zealand red, the Kali's, okay. a few Agutis, okay. and then a few mixtures. Okay. okay. Our farm, and then I, I think I recommend CK Farms. You okay. can look up. CK farms too on the internet and age rabbit farms. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So we will get these breeds from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have my cage ready. I have my rabbits ready. What's next? So your, your cage ready, your rabbits ready. Then you you put your knowledge in there. Okay. Yeah. So where do I get feed? The, the for, for where the do feed, I get um, uh, do they, their nutrition and all of that? How do I? Yeah, we feed them pellets and then hay. For the hay, we, we grow them ourselves. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And rabbits, they need hay to work out their digestion, digestion. yeah, gastrointestinal. Okay. And so they need a lot of hay. Okay. And then they, we feed them pellets. The pellets, for the pellets, um, we buy them from okay. a vendor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At, at condition, yeah. All right. Yeah. So you can you can look them up all the feed 
industries we have in Ghana. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then what of the? Uh, I see you have some sort of drip system in in your yes. cages. It, as I am just starting with two. Do I need that, or I can just fetch water and uh, then give them the water, and then they will take on their own? Well. Even though you are starting with two, remember I said that the, the cage, you need to be proactive and so the space is not going to, to be just two. Okay. To be at least 12 rooms. Okay. And so you need it, it's good, you need it. Okay. Yeah. You can still do it. The water system is, that is automated. You have your, your container up there, hanged up there, you fill it maybe about 60 liters to 100 liters. That can serve them for, if you have two rabbits with that amount of water, you can serve them for about two weeks because they consume about just 150 ml in a day so they don't take a lot of water they drink a lot of water but i mean that is that is a consumption they drink a lot of water so say i'm not able to afford the drip system immediately you can, use, my you can use pots okay the feeders okay yeah, it's just that with the feeders uh, you have a little job to do because you have to be cleaning them. They, they, okay. Some may develop this spirogyra yeah. and, and it's not healthy for them, so you have to clean them. So the water system, you know, because it's automated, they have water 24 7. And if, if you don't provide water for rabbits, I think in 24 hours they may, they may pass out. Okay. And so it's good you have the automated one where you know that oh, the water that is up there will finish in about two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Elliot, I see this place is cool. You've provided some natural shade does it affect is, is that key yes. to the rabbits yes okay uh, rabbits should not be kept under heat mm. it has so many um, implications wow. in terms of their health and then their um, fertility okay uh, with the males yeah yeah when they are exposed to heat it reduces the fertility of the males the semen concentration is low wow. It ranges from 0 0.6 to 1 mil. Mm -hmm. I think those are the technicalities. Okay. We can talk. When they come, we can talk about that. All mm -hmm. right. And then they may they may get heat stroke when you are, mm. when you expose them to heat. Mm. Okay. So they need a shed. The shed is very. If you don't have the trees around, you can build a bank. Okay. Or extend when you are building your cages, you can extend the roof instead okay. of. Shorter. Cutting it short, you extend it a bit. Yeah. So they have some natural exactly, shade. Yeah. Okay, so you want to avoid the heat stroke. Yes. Okay, so um, with what we've spoken about now, if I want to start um, a rabbit farm, basically I need to do my research, right? Yes, your research is very important. Very key. Also, search for mentor. a mentor. Now, after getting all the training and all, small. start small. So I could start with the two, male and female. Yes, that's true. And then make sure I get their cages, their feed, nutrition, and most importantly, like you mentioned, the shade. The shade. And then he is very, very he. They like he a lot. Rabbits like he. I, I, I mean it. They like he. Your question just popped up. Eh? Yeah. So can I feed Axi, it normal yeah. rice and the like? Rice. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, let me. Let okay, hey, I mean a dried grass. What you see in the cage, in their cages, that is hay. It's, it's fresh. Once you dry them, that becomes hay. Okay. That's all about it. But they like it a lot. But with the, with your question, mm -hmm. rice. It's not, it's, not, it's not good for rabbits because it has a lot of starch in it. Oh. They, they, just as humans have this white blood cells, mm -hmm. that helps your system. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They have, they produce this uh, gastrointestinal bacteria. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to help their total health and, mm -hmm. and helps their digestion. Mm -hmm. That is a bacteria they produce naturally for the body. Mm -hmm. And starch is an enemy too. That's bacteria. This bacteria. So some starch, we have the, 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 the plant starch, which is not harmful to them. Okay. Okay, and then you go to this. That one, those are the technicalities of it. So when they come, we can talk about that. One. Okay, so basically, hay yeah. and then the pellets you mentioned. Yes. That's what and we should And fresh water, yes. Fresh, fresh water, water. Yeah. very key. Yeah. Thank you.